Were we ever in somebody else's possession? Was our foremothers, our ancestors in somebody's possession? Who? Oh. Slavery, right? This was when we was in somebody else's possession, right? Was that love? Was that saying God love everybody back then? Who told us God love everybody? The Bible? No, no. I'm saying the white man told us the Bible. Did you know during slavery we couldn't read for 400 years? So who told us everything we know? Right. You think he taught us right? So why, we, why do we believe everything that was taught to us? You know you're an Israelite, what does that mean? It's to stay true to who you were. But what does that mean? I'm saying, do you have rules that you follow? You're an Israelite, you're not like everybody else, right? So what do you do that separates you from everybody else? You what? You yourself, we all ourselves. So I'm saying, what is your, uh, do you have rules you follow? You follow the Bible? So what's the rules in the Bible you follow? To love everybody. Like to, love everybody. to love everybody? So look, let me ask you a question. Do God love everybody? The whole, he loved everybody in the Bible. He loved everybody in the world. Who did God choose? No, I'm talking about the nation of people. All right, so look, give me John 3.16. Because you say God loved everybody, right? You want to you know where you got that from? Christianity. That's not in the Bible. That's not one of God's. He has not ordained that he loved everybody because the Bible was written to us and was for us. He chose us. You know what? Give me Isaiah 14. Give me Isaiah 14 because I want you to, I want to ask you a question about this. I want to see if this sounds like he loved everybody. You got it? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, and verse 1. For the Lord, for, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. So God said he will have mercy on Jacob. You know who Jacob is? Who is Jacob? Bible. Right, but he is the father of the twelve tribes of Israel. That's right. He's the father of these men right here. Alright? Read. And say, for the Lord mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. So he said he's going to choose Israel. When he talk about Israel, he's talking about the nation of people of Israel, right? Read. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. He says they shall cleave. What's that mean? They're going to be trying to cleave to us because we're going to have the one true God. Read. Listen to this. Read. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. We shall what? And shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. So let's say that the Israelites, that the Israelites are going to possess them. What does it mean to possess somebody? Huh? Take over, right? Were we ever in somebody else's possession? Was our foremothers, our ancestors in somebody's possession? Who? Oh. Slavery, right? This was when we was in somebody else's possession, right? Was that love? Was that saying God love everybody back then? Who told us God love everybody? The Bible? No, no. I'm saying the white man told us the Bible. Did you know during slavery we couldn't read for 400 years? So who told us everything we know? Right. You think he taught us right? So why we why do we believe everything that was taught to us? You got it. But listen, I'm, I'm showing you something about the Bible. Did you know that was in the Bible that we was going to possess somebody? That Israelites is going to possess somebody in... Read that again. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and days, and they shall take them captives who captives they were. It says they shall take them captives who captives they were. 
Eric, you hear that? We're gonna take them captive. So that's not loving everybody. That's not loving everybody. God does not love everybody because he made the world for us. Give me that and Ezra, yeah, Ezra, right. Six, verse 54. So I'm gonna show you who God made the earth for. Because did, did, did God make the earth for everybody, Eric? He made the world for everybody? White, black, Hispanic, Indian, everybody, right? I'm going to show you who he made the world, the world for. Read. This is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 6 and verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. So we all come from Adam, right, Eric? We all come from Adam, everybody on the earth. Read. And the people also whom thou hast chosen, all this have I spoken before thee. Who did God choose? He chose Adam, no. He chose people after Adam. That's what, we, that's what we're discussing right now. Read. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 44 and verse 1. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. So, Eric, who did, who did God choose? No, listen, listen up. Are you paying attention? Listen up. He just gave you the answer. Read. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. So who did God choose? Israel, right? He didn't choose everybody. So that's what we're talking about. When we go back to 2nd Ezra, it's talking about the people he have chosen. Read. Give me, oh, you like that? And after this, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. So this is the people who he have chosen. You follow along? Yeah. Who is our saints? Israel. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.